Dear Mom, It's been four years and eight months since you've passed away. I've kept your story to myself all of these years, making your death seem like it was an accident. But it wasn't an accident, and I think it's about time I tell your story. Anxiety, depression, death, these are words I've been brought up on. At the age of 11, I was thinking of ways to die. By the time I was 16, I was being given pills for my sadness. Instead of being angry at me or feeling like there was something wrong with me, you were really supportive. I didn't learn this until later, but you've been feeling this way too. The feelings I've been feeling are genetic, and I got them from you. I wish you would have talked to me. I wish you would have told me how much you could relate to me. When Binu died, your first son, my eldest brother, I finally saw how much depression could take over someone's life. You were sad all of the time. There was a dark cloud following you with no sun in sight. It was the worst during my last year in high school. I would get calls saying that you were in the hospital again. I was too embarrassed to tell any of my friends that my mom tried to kill herself. I was too scared to admit that it was only after I attempted suicide that you thought ending your life was even a possibility. Was this my fault? Did you spiral downwards because I was spiraling downwards? I was never mad at you though. How could I be? You were one of my best friends. We told each other everything except for one thing. The one thing I wish we talked about, sadness. It was taboo, it was nothing, it was all in our heads. We kept thinking that while I drove you to your therapist appointments. We talked about everything but the constant sadness that overtook our thoughts. You were doing so well. You were taking your medication, practicing yoga, talking to people. I was finally able to start enjoying life. We both were. We would talk about my future. You had so many big dreams for me. Dreams I couldn't even think about myself. Four years of getting better and then all of a sudden, everything changed. I remember it like it was yesterday. It was a day before Valentine's Day. You called me and you were so happy. You were laughing on the phone asking me to run some errands for you. The sun was out, it was a good day. I came home later that night, the lights were on, but the house was quiet. I figured you had fallen asleep, so I didn't even go into your room to say hi. I wish I had. A few hours go by and dad comes home. He walks into your room and I hear him ask you why the lights were on. Then a few seconds go by and I hear him say your name a little louder, and then louder until he's screaming. My heart stops. As I run into your room, I think there's no way this is happening again. And then begins the hardest 10 minutes of my life. I told everyone that you passed away in your sleep. Your heart just stopped. I kept your story a secret for four years and eight months. It's time to tell everyone the truth. Maybe it can save someone's life. You're always on my mind and forever in our hearts. Love you, mom. May you rest in peace. Love, your daughter. <laughs>